Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today, I have updated my very old laptop, which is the 2020 IDL Pad 3 Slim 3, which is, it's a little bit like broken but uh, we could still salvage uh, the display hinges it, I don't know if it's gonna be replaceable or not and the keyboards some of the functions are not working properly so I'm using a external mouse and a keyboard so that it will still be functional so this is my go-to laptop for how many years already five years and it's been with me since I stepped into Thailand. So anyway, uh, let's try to get into the operating system. I have to let you see first where did I get the ISO. I have to go to the website. Okay, let's go to the website first. That is the big Linux. So that is the biglinux.com.br and of course if you notice when you open this one it has an English because this is actually a Brazilian Linux based operating system so it will translate for you and it is available in all different languages even including Filipino which is I am and it has functions really really easy compared to other distros that I have this is one of my go-to really like easy and go to the download or right here on the top as you can see it translate automatically so it has a minimum of AMD or Intel processor capability and compatibility with only two gigabytes of RAM random access memory and a eight gigabytes of storage space minimum and the recommended of course you have to like have really extreme like if you are using it for editing not for browsing because this is for browsing and just doing the office works but if you want to edit videos edit pictures then your minimum is 4 gigabytes of random access memory and 40 gigabytes of storage space but in my case I have it more than in my case I'm using the 2020 11th generation i5 and I have 12 gigabytes of random access memory so this is very old <laughs> this laptop is very old but still working fine it's I think if I'm using it for Windows it's a little bit sluggish uh, I have Windows right here at the same time right here see I have Windows so I have both Windows and Linux in this computer but I prefer Linux because it is functioning faster and properly compared to Windows. I'm using the Lenovo, so it is basically like they have their own Linux operating system. They call it the Red Hat Linux, so that is why it's functioning properly. So download this one, and you have this option. You have the current version, the recommended, and another current. I think I'll go for the 6.2. 12 they have the 6.6 .6 and 6.16 6, but i prefer this one uh the kernel 6.12 it is more stable so you can use banana etcher i usually use the banana etcher for my bootable iso file or image file for for this installation I have that in my previous video uh, anyways there are also information on how to create a flash drive or the bootable flash drive you can also use like Ventoy at the same time uh, I think Ventoy is a little bit like tricky when you install in Windows but in Linux just go to the store 
and look for Ventoy. This is for bootable at the same time. Bootable USB. It is just click and install, but in Windows in Windows it's a little bit tricky. You have to follow the instruction. So uh, they have this one uh, documentation. You have to use sometimes the you know the developer's version like how to install it. I really don't know why is it it's hard in Windows, but they always advertise it that it is always like the easiest but nah, I always like have comparison and it's really hard so let's go to the download and just click download right here and it will have this pop up then you have to put it in the download page just like in your windows you have to put it in the download page so that you could like always find it in the download not in somewhere else it will be like eight minutes to download this is depending on your isp provider or the internet service provider so for me it's a little bit like fast i have the fiber internet service provider that is very fast so anyway, um, let me close that one and close this one. So let's try to check out the desktop user interface, of course. So you have the start menu right here, your launcher. You have all the apps right here. And you also have this one. This is where like we also call the quick launch application. It is uh, pinned in your taskbar there and on the other side right side we have the notification as you can see we have notification right here plus I'm recording it right now my system is up to date volume control the Bluetooth connection and I have two screen the left and the right a microphone Wi-Fi at the same time a network and my battery which is um, 71 percent and i have one hour and 16 minutes remaining now 15 minutes remaining so yep this is a uh, old computer and it's still functioning properly so i have nothing to like uh, having some problems with that one and i also have the microphone filter which is uh, noise cancellation you also have the time and date right here so, Sabado, October 4, 2025. And you could like uh, categorize for the days, month, or year. And it's today. So, how about this one? This is the wallpaper, the background wallpaper. When you right click the mouse, you have the option to change your wallpaper. In Big Linux, you don't have to, to get new wallpaper because they have already like so many but of course you have to wait for the update then there there it's already like showing the pictures the wallpapers so they have a lot of wallpapers i think this is the distro that no need to like tinker and do everything before you use it this one is come out 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 of the box like this one so it is already like beautiful and you don't need to like you know um, look for your preferred stuff it's always like it's there and the ISO file it's already like there uh, everything is all set you don't need to update you don't need to to change you don't need you know, except for the system update but the rest it's just there everything is there even your layout the layout of your desktop you could like change your layout if you wanted to and your themes at the same time I don't need to download another file or something 
so that is the wallpaper and appearance let's go to the appearance uh, system settings okay so the appearance of course you also have the themes as I said you could also do that right here and the themes but you could also uh, have new themes right here by clicking download right here get new uh, let me demonstrate that one so it is there if you want to have like the Apple Mac OS type then you could like also use this or Google Chrome OS because Chrome is actually Linux at the same time so it feels like and built like they have the Ant Dark KDE 2 Auto Windows 10 How about the Sweet Umbar Windows 11 so it's really up to you if you want to change the update or download uh, from icons you could change that one if you want to have like this one rounded or this one I prefer this dark breeze it's kind of like cool this one if you want to have the stylish type for cursors of course you have a lot like this one I will demonstrate that one let's click apply yeah see my mouse change about this one okay on the other side it will be uh, yeah there see yeah, let's just go back to the modern classic sounds yes you could also change it uh, splash page I use this one you could also use this one it's really up to you and the login screen yes you could also change that one the boot splash screen it's not loading yet application the color accent plasma style windows decoration if you want to have like like this one that one or you know the old this okay so that is the appearance now let's go to the apps so as you can see we could like download right here on the app store if you are not like familiar with the operating system of course you could always search it into the YouTube so we have different types of apps right here it comes with this Libri office suite and it has one two three four five six six apps but I prefer the only office because it's all in one you don't need to like for database for call or spreadsheet you don't need to have the draw or impress for the slideshow presentation meeting reports letters and equation right here in only office it's all in one you could also use the only office like for PDF the portable document file and for scanning of course you have this one you also have the options to have a Windows Office 360 as you can see I have Microsoft Edge at the same time let's try to open the Microsoft you could change like whatever your preference for the Microsoft Edge browser but too much for me it's too much all the information software center of course uh, software center if you want to have the internet browser then just click there I have that one so for example I want to remove this one just click remove and then click apply your password and it is now removed and if you want to have it installed just click install and of course password and it will install it for you so conclusion it is easy to install easy to navigate it is like Windows this is for all beginners like really beginner 
in Linux it's like and feels like Windows you don't need to have like like really like to learn how this operating system works but of course you have to check out how and what are the applications that we are using right here in Linux but in Linux it is also available in Windows actually application in Linux are also being used in Windows just like this one the OBS OBS is actually a Linux app let me see how about VLC VLC is actually a Linux app Firefox is also a Linux app Steam is actually a Linux app partition manager there are also right here and it is absolutely for free compared to Windows there are absolutely for free right here in Linux of course we also have some Spotify which is a subscription base discord yes discord is also Linux actually and snap drop it's basically like a file sharing so how to shut down right here just click the launcher or app launcher or start menu and look for shutdown so you have shutdown right here when you click shutdown you have the options shutdown or cancel so if you have some question feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below i'm blair your science computer mathematics and engineering teacher bye for now and see you in the next episode of operating system Bye for now and see you in the next adventure. Ciao!